the way amputations have been done surgically has not changed in a hundred years. The prosthetics, you know, have improved dramatically. We have legs that have little computers in them, microprocessors, and so on and so forth. But the actual amputation surgery has been pretty stagnant. Osseointegration is creating a new paradigm for amputation reconstruction surgery. It's a vastly new concept of how the surgery is done and, and what the outcomes will be. Doing really well, doing excellent. Um, walking has been a joy. Yeah. Oh my God. I've been walking with no pain. Wow. Um, my discharge. I love. I love how easy it is. This to just take just it on, take it off. Seconds. I was involved in a uh, motorcycle accident back home in Michigan. I was hit by a uh, F-250 pickup truck. I was going to park my motorcycle just like any other day, um, but this day it was right at dusk and I had the right of way um, and a 17 uh, year old kid just blew right through the stop sign. That's great. Bend again. Great. So we've got great knee motion, 0 to 130. Wound up in the hospital. They told me I had to either make the decision to amputate or to save my leg. They weren't able to find a good pulse. I only had one of three arteries that were findable. So let's see you put the leg back on. That was... okay. I spoke with another amputee, which was super motivational and huge inspiration to me. Yeah, and really it just demonstrates how relatively simple it is. It's so simple. Get that it's so, it's so, so easy. Right. It just showed me that, you know, I can move forward and get on with life. This isn't the end and things are still possible and prosthetics have come so far in the last 50 to 100 years that I'll be able to walk again. And let's see you walk. Regular or traditional amputation surgery creates a residuum, residual leg and then that leg gets put into a socket. I started walking with a carbon fiber socket. From day one, I started having issues with irritation, skin breakdown, blisters, sweating, the socket pulling on and off. It pinches, it rubs, it creates ulcers. The shape of the residual leg is very much affected by the socket. It becomes very, very difficult for the prosthetist to create a socket that's comfortable. Osseointegration surgery gets rid of the socket. There's no socket. Now there's a direct connection between the skeleton and the prosthesis. I had come across Dr. Rosbrook over social media and I contacted um, a patient that he had done osseointegration on and over that communication right there I had gotten Dr. Rosbrook's email, all the office information and I reached out to him and the rest was history. The second major advantage is this whole issue of proprioception. Patients feel the leg in a very, very significant way. I had a patient just yesterday, Lisa. She'd been wearing a socket for years after an above knee amputation. And aside from having really poor function, a really bad gait, having a lot of pinching problems and socket problems, she never really felt the floor properly. She didn't have a good sense of proprioception. And she was telling me that uh, after getting the osseointegration and getting the new leg, she can tell the difference between walking on a floor and a carpet and grass. Two, three, push. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, I'm not helping. There's a lot of energy in this little, little leg of mine. I um, had an automobile accident five years ago. I fell asleep behind the wheel and woke up a week later and uh, found out that I'd lost my leg. My husband had to make that decision. They said, big chance you could lose your wife if we don't take her leg. We don't have time to work on everything that was going on, collapsed lung, things like that. So my husband made the right choice. I have two children at the time. One was 12, one was 16. When I woke up, I was 
of course devastated to know that I lost my leg, but I still had a very good feeling to be alive. I felt blessed. I thank God every day that I'm alive. And that's what made me fight. I, I feel like I was given a second chance, and that's why I, I work so hard at everything. Go. Oh, okay. Big difference. Nice. Go down and come up. Good job. Oh, that was wow. Good. Okay. And you're impressing yourself. Every step I would take in my socket gave me pain. I had pain every time I stepped on my foot. And I started to think there's got to be something better out there. I'm uncomfortable. I'm in pain. I'm not walking. I'm working hard and it's not looking any different or any better. And how many times am I going to go? I, in five years, I had eight sockets. When you are clicked in, when you're connected, you are functioning on a completely different level than when you're just sitting in a bowl, which is really what the socket is. So patients are walking better. They have much more efficient transfer of energy. They get fatigued much, much less. Just the way they walk, the, the smoothness of their gait, is vastly improved. My prediction is that in a decade, all amputation reconstruction surgery is going to be uh, with osseointegration. integration. So, like, I can just take her leg and bring it up. It'll warn me that her leg is upside down. Move your hand. And I can do some nice stretching with her. There would be times when people would tap me on my right side or my prosthetic side, and they would say, oh my gosh, I got the wrong side of you. You didn't feel that. But now I go, no, you, you've got the right side of me. You've got me. I feel it now. I feel like one piece again, one person again. There's not the part that doesn't feel anything and then the rest of me. I feel everything now. This is going to be the Life theme. Changer. The theme is uh, no more socket. Get, yes. rid of the, get rid of the socket. Yes. Hashtag no socket. No socket. <laughs> no socket. This was a picture of when Dr. Almaderas came and we did uh, Jesse's surgery together. So when you look at six weeks ago to today, you don't see any difference. Mm -mm. In other words, it hasn't shifted, it hasn't moved. Beautiful. The bond looks fantastic. Right. Yeah. All the way you know, down. You don't see any signs of any kind of loosening wow. at all. An implant is inserted into the medullary canal of the bone. It's a lot like a hip replacement. We're basically preparing the intramedullary canal or the marrow cavity of the bone and then we obtain uh, an implant that's custom made for the size of that bone and it is implanted, it's impacted into the bone and you get immediate stability and press fit from that. Then what happens over the course of the next several weeks is bone grows into the implant, hence the name osseointegration. And once the bone grows into the implant, the implant becomes part of the bone. The second part of the procedure is creating a stoma or an opening where we then insert what's called a dual cone or an abutment that then connects the femoral component or the tibial component as the case may be with the prosthetic device. Sometimes it's done in two stages, sometimes it's done in one stage. Once the implant is in, there's a gradual progression of activity. So step one is first you've got the implant and you've got the abutment and then you just start increasing the amount of weight bearing. So you don't actually put on the leg yet, but you, you start loading it in with a particular protocol where we start with a certain amount of weight and we increase that weight every couple of days. And this way we get the bone comfortable with the idea of loading the implant. And then at a certain point, you know, once we're comfortable with the extent of osseointegration, we will attach the leg to the abutment and then again start with crutches, progress the weight bearing gradually until they're fully weight bearing. We're looking at the way it's bonded in mm -hmm. and I'm not seeing any signs of anything that's different, mm -hmm. movement, so no sign of infection, no sign of loosening, none Beautiful. of those things. This changed our lives, changed my life for sure. I mean, I he can carry groceries now, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. He can hold my hand when we walk. You know, it's the little things. We can go to the beach together. We can, you know, ride, he can go to the gym and ride a bike and do all this stuff where if if you would have asked me 10 months ago or 14 months ago, I would have said there's no way. 
There's no way that this would happen. Changed my life for the better, no doubt about it. Now we can start working on babies again. Oh, nice! Yay! You got my permission. Yay! Oh, thank goodness! We get to work on babies. Oh, oh you're sweet. Oh.